Uh, hello, dear students. Welcome to the English lesson. So today we are going to speak about uh, the Great Britain. Traditions, customs and holidays of Great Britain. So let's begin our today's lesson. So first of all, we are going to discuss um, British holidays. Christmas, St. Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween and etc. You know that every country has its own uh, traditions, customs and holidays and they also have their own uh, outlookings, their own uh, attitude and tests. Uh, for British people, they mostly like uh, uh, something serious, something historical. And if we speak about uh, Christmas, uh, every year there is a very Christmas tree uh, in the center of London, in Trafalgar Square. And mostly people in the evening uh, before Christmas like to come to the Trafalgar Square to look at Christmas tree. Like this. In the picture you can see very big and the highest Christmas tree in the middle of Trafalgar Square. And uh, Christmas Day is a family holiday. It is the time when all the family gets together. So, uh, if we compare Christmas Day in Great Britain with other countries, we also in Uzbekistan, we also gather with family members in order to celebrate New Year Day. There is some difference and similarities between our holidays. And little children believe that when they are asleep, Santa Claus comes with a big bag of toys and Santa Claus put their uh, favorite toys under the Christmas tree. Children often hang up large stockings over the fireplace or near the, their beds for presents. And it's also very lovely. In the picture you can see a very uh, large stockings for presents and toys. And if we speak about dishes, traditional meals of holiday, uh, for Christmas dinner, people eat traditional food turkey, potatoes, and green vegetables. So these are traditional dishes for Christmas dinner. Then they have the Christmas pudding. This is a kind of sweets, a kind of uh, delicious, very sweet uh, cake. And at 5 o'clock, it's time for tea and Christmas cake, uh, exactly at 5 o'clock. And uh, let's speak about the 14th of February is St. Valentine's Day. This is, uh, don't forget, this is the special uh, traditional day for English people, not for all over the world. But as for Uzbek nationality, the 14th of February, we celebrate another holiday. So people buy or make Valentine's cards and send them to people they love. They don't sign them and you must guess who sent the card to you. This is also a very interesting tradition. So on Valentine's Day, people write letters about love, about respect, sincere letters and they send to their uh, how to say adored people but they don't write their address this is somehow an uh, anonymous letter about love uh, maybe uh, let's uh, if we think about good sides of this uh, holiday maybe uh, people will be very kind very polite uh, to each other uh, on this day and they express their love, express their uh, politeness to each other. And if we speak about again Valentine's Day, there are different cards to all tests. So look at the picture. These are Valentine's letters, postcards with pictures. So St. Valentine the rose is red, the violets are blue, the honey is sweet, and so are you. This is like poem, 
which consists of four lines and this is expressing love. The second one, St. Valentine's, I'll be your sweetheart if you will be mine. All of my life I'll be your Valentine. So here, Valentine is a symbol of a uh, beloved person. So these are just expressing love to each other. Let's speak about Easter holiday. This is also a traditional holiday of Great Britain, of British people. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, eggs of red and blue. Here are lots of colored eggs, all for me and you. So from the poem, you can guess that in this day, people color the eggs in different colors. And they distribute these eggs to each other, to their neighbors, uh, uh, relatives, and etc. Uh, in order to express their, again, kindness, politeness, uh, hospitib hosp hospitable sides. And the next one, uh, Easter is time to give and to get presents, rabbits, comes and leaves, eggs for children. It is a symbol of Easter festival and it is called Easter Bunny. So, um, so Easter holiday, on Easter holiday, children try to get different presents. So, um, sometimes people le leave eggs uh, for their children uh, so on Easter Sunday children get chocolate Easter eggs or rabbits uh, you can buy them at any sweet shop in the weeks before Easter so this is also a very interesting custom of English people and uh, the the most interesting holiday, I think this is uh, Halloween Day. On the 31st of October in Great Britain, uh, there is a nice holiday for children. Halloween uh, is called this holiday. People put uh, pumpkins on the window sills or at the door outside, uh, outside of the house. And they draw eyes, noses, and mouths on the pumpkins and put candles into them. So the pumpkins look like a face. So in the picture you can see a very big pumpkin and it is um, colored, it is decorated and draw different uh, types of body on the face. And children dress up in funny clothes and have a party where they play games, dance and laugh a lot. So here you can see in the picture, children try to dress very uh, unusual dresses like ghosts, like monsters, like witches, in order to uh, show horror sides of this episode. So, they try to dance in the streets and laugh a lot, like monsters, like ghosts, and etc. They go from house to house and say trick or treat. People give them sweets, fruits, cakes, biscuits, or money. Um, so children uh, go uh, uh, from house to house and they say trick or treat, money or eat. And then people open the door and they try to give them mostly sweets, fruits, cakes, biscuits, and sometimes money also. So, <clears throat> uh, as you see, uh, we spoke, uh, we, I gave some information about English uh, traditions, about English holidays. And besides, uh, they have Guy Fawkes Night also. Guy Fawkes Night also not an uh, international holiday, but just uh, somehow traditional holiday of Great Britain. And this is also not so, how to say, beautiful holiday. This is just like somehow horror, horror holiday. 
and bes uh, besides they have a uh, memory day also uh, they remember dead soldiers uh, and they put uh, popular flowers on the graves in order to remember you know uh, for the honor of so dead so soldiers and at the end of my uh, slides I'm going to ask some questions so a holiday now let's think about one holiday and try to answer for these questions when is it celebrated what is your favorite festival what do people usually do where do you usually go who do you invite or visit just now after watching this slide my presentation think about one english or some foreign uh, country's holiday and try to answer for these questions thank you for your attention it was about uh, tra customs traditions and especially holidays of great britain if you have any questions you're welcome or just uh, you can ask from telegram or you can send some message for to the plug platform or you can just write down to my email victory forever and telephone number is written here thank you very much for your attention dear students